Hello, I'm Andrew Pizzelli, and today I'm joined by Peter Gentoli of the Salve Regina men's ice hockey team. Peter, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, first, congratulations on being named to the 2015 Deaf Olympic team. Tell me a little bit about the team and what that means to you. Uh, you know, it means a great deal to me. I've been, you know, I've been involved with this organization, HIHA, uh, A-H-I-H-A. -H -A. Um, and, you know, ever since I've been a young kid, they've always had this Deaf Olympic team. And um, I've always been interested, I've always wanted to play. And uh, when they brought back a gold medal in 07, just added more incentive for me to want to be on this team. And I was on the team in 2011, unfortunately it got canceled. But um, I have another chance here this year and hopefully I can bring back a gold medal. Yeah, how long have you been playing hockey for? Um, I started playing hockey between the ages of three and four. My, old, my oldest brother, Kevin, um, he started playing when he was about nine or 10. So I was around three or four at the, at the time. And I just wanted to be like him. So I know I grabbed his stick, you know, it was too big for me, but I used his sticks and you know, we played together and just kind of found the love for the game. Yeah, now being a deaf athlete, what kind of adversity have you had to face, you know, playing hockey? Um, you know, it's, it's really, you know, with the coaches and with your parents and you, know, you gotta talk to your parents and you know, the biggest thing is, you know, you got to be able to listen, you got to be able to hear your coaches. So, you know, I needed to go to the front of, you know, whenever, wherever he was speaking or she was speaking. Um, it's just, the biggest thing is just to be alert, you know, use my eyesight instead, you know, instead of relying so much on my hearing. And um, that's just the biggest thing, you're just paying attention. And I think, you know, some guys may forget to pay attention or maybe they might be a little lazy because they, they just can't hear, but, um, I try not to think of it as an excuse and use my uh, other advantages. Mm -hmm. Now in the game, hearing aids, other assistive devices aren't going to be permitted. No. So how do you think you're going to be affected by that and what do you think about that idea? You know, when I, when I first started playing on this team in, in 2009, uh, that was the first time I ever had to play without them on and I was, I was shocked at how well I was able to adapt to it. But um, it's just, just something you have to adapt to right away. And uh, I mean, for me, um, when I take my hearing aids out, I can still hear a little bit. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not so much a disadvantage to me, but for some guys that wear cochlear implants and are completely deaf, um, it's, it's just, it kind of sucks for them. But you know, they deal with it just like I do and it works out well for them. Yeah, now the game is gonna be held in Russia. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? And I mean, how much world traveling have you, have you done? Um, the only world traveling I've really done is I've, I've been to Winnipeg, Canada, but that's not too far. Um, and I recently went to Helsinki in uh, wow. Finland. So that, that was, that's probably the most world traveling I've done. But for this area in Russia, you know, we were a little worried about it, but it's gonna be a resort area. So I think, you know, everybody's kind of calmed down about it. And, uh, just looking forward to playing some hockey. Great. Well, Peter, good luck in the game. And again, congratulations. Thank you. Peter Gentoli of the Salve Regina men's ice hockey team.